You know, when I first heard about the vert, it made me think about baseball. Um, I've always loved to watch baseball. I grew up playing it, and I know I can't even help myself when I look at the screen. I always look for how fast the pitch is coming. Um, I look, there's a technical device that has helped the sport be more interesting. And so, when I first thought about vert, um, it's this little guy right here. Um, you know, I thought that's where that's the thing that's going to be interesting for me. That. You know, we know that there's technology that we could show to the fans in our gym how high somebody jumps every time they go to play jump and hit or block, if that's what we want to do. And that would be really cool. That's just like the radar gun in, in baseball for me. But now that I've gotten into vert and thought about it and I know how we use it, for me, there's a whole nother dimension to it that I think is extraordinary that everyone should be interested in. Um, for years and years and years, we haven't had a lot of data on women in practice and um, there's more data on men in sports and uh, about how many times they should be jumping, how hard it is on their body after how many years. And um, we're just starting to get some informa information now because of the vert that our players can put the, put the vert in their shorts. Um, you can, they have a band you can wear it to keep it in place. And it counts how many jumps we jump every day. You can see how high the jumps are. You can see where they kind of came from in practice. And we're getting data on how many jumps you jump in a typical match. If you're a middle or a left side or a right side. Um, how, in practice, our national team is starting to have data that says that, yeah, over a long period of time, this is how many jumps we should limit um, our players to in order for them to stay healthy in the long term. It's really easy to get carried away on a day where you got to finish this and they end up jumping this many times and it hurts them in the long run. The vert, if you know what it can do, it can stop you from doing that. We actually organize our practices differently now because of the vert. Um, we're not going to waste as many jumps. We're not going to get to the end of practice and have to shut middles down because they've jumped 120 times. And because we're not going to get to that point, we're going to do our best to do the things that we need to do and use the jumps wisely, still have fun doing the things that we're going to do. But I think the vert is helping us organize and know what the most helpful way for our athletes to practice is. So we use this as often as we can. It's easy to use and it's worth it.